everyone welcome back to my channel i know i'm supposed to be giving you a mini braids update from my three month challenge but instead here i am with a big chop update instead so i'm going to be very transparent with you guys you guys are my subscribers it's kind of like a community to me so i'm going to be honest the truth is the excessive shedding took a toll on my hair it became unhealthy weightless fine and uneven i was retaining length but my hair's overall health was suffering as someone who knows a lot about hair care i knew my hair was unhealthy so i am going through a lot in my life right now and the excessive shedding was adding to my mental stress i didn't want that so it's been six months since this shedding started and i'm frustrated because i can't really identify the cause i've tried everything but i think i need a more scientific approach or medical approach instead I have tried everything, changed my product, adjusted my routine, even reduced manipulation by going on the three months, you know, mini brace challenge, but nothing seems to work. That's why I am determined to get to the root of the problem. I made a community post about running some tests, but financially, I'm not there yet, so I'm planning to save up and get to the bottom of this. I believe in identifying the problem to solve it. That's where I'm at right now, so... I can't really tell what is wrong with me. I have to like go run some tests because this seems to be something more on the medical side. You know, it's not just about me applying some topical product. I am sure that it has to do with my immune system or something because there was a time my immune system was low. So I believe this also has a role to play in this whole shedding. Nobody loves my hair as much as I do. This time, I was really serious about growing my hair out, but I don't know why I experienced excessive shedding once my hair hits the one year mark. Imagine teaching people about hair care, you know, how to care for their hair, but your own hair is giving you so much trouble. The irony. For real, if I was experiencing breakage, it would have been really easy for me to solve. But this is something I can't even see. This is something I don't I don't even know the actual cause. So I apologize to those who feel disappointed, but just know I feel a lot better after cutting my hair. For this big chop, I'll be experimenting. I wanted to go completely bald as that's my signature look. But um I work now and I'm not a main staff, so I don't know how my bosses will take it. Plus, I still want to create hair content. So my target audience will mostly be those with really short or extremely short TWA. So here I am starting all over again for the eighth time. It's not the end of the world. It's not a failure. It's just basically, you know, a new chapter. So I currently have one inch of growth. That's like two months worth of growth. And my hair grows an average of half an inch. So to me, this is like a three to four months worth of hair growth. This is what my hair looks like when it was around three to four, three months here, my previous big chop. I'm going to show you a quick comparison of both, you know, hair and the length. While this is my big chop, I'll be calculating it as a three months hair journey. This new journey is strictly, I mean strictly a hair growth journey. I normally manipulate my hair in my first year as a trauma response because I try to create content for all the months I have not been active but this will be different another thing is i won't be wearing afro puffs as i am literally obsessed with that hairstyle it's the easiest hairstyle that i put my hair in so as someone with extremely fragile edges and edges with real coily baby hair i'm not talking about those swooped baby hair i'm talking about the real coily baby hairs it is damaging for my edges my edges are like the most fragile parts of my is it hair or my head yeah i also think manipulating my hair in the first year has an effect in the second year probably one of the reasons i experienced so much shedding so this is the hairstyle i normally rock when i try to grow my hair out again however i am unsure how my bosses would take it now that i work i put a lot into consideration so this might look unprofessional to them but I'll try to figure something out, maybe finger coils or palm coils. I rock those as well and currently I am rocking a palm coils, although my hair is now longer for that style. Another thing is I got me an iron zinc syrup, so hopefully it helps and I'll also work on my diet while I try to save up to, you know, go on some serious tests. That's it. I'm excited to share this journey with you all and hopefully I'll find some answers along the way and I'll keep you all updated. Thanks for watching everyone. I know some of you may be surprised, but I'm excited for this new journey and I'm going to see you in my next video, hopefully.